Okay, we're all set. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sergeant Funner. And I think this may be the last part of this episode. I'm, don't quote me on that. Where are they? Where are my children? Why do you ask, Mendes? You know we aren't so well enough. Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize its source. It drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul Peri periodically. We shut the pressure down and send one of our size into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. I'll be just a short and broom, a little explorers, explorers venture into the dark. Of course we can only keep pressure down for a short period so they must be fast so they risk being trapped and boiled by superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. Then we will be sending their comrades in outwards to scrape free the cooling mess. Survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them I am so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. Holy shit! <laughs> that, 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 what kind of ending is that of this little note? I smile, tell them I'm so proud, and then I feed them to the pigs. Holy shit. That's just really sadistical, I guess is the right word. I'm not quite certain. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not quite certain what I should do now. I suppose. supposed to go. Oh, hey. Well, I guess. Go down the ladder. Oh, teddy bear. I, I thought we got damaged by that. Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! Can't go through there, that's oh maybe like this. Sweet teddy bear. I it's really bad vision at the moment, I really don't like this. That was really dark. I did not see anything. I bet it will be even worse for you guys, so I'm sorry for that part. Why did I let that pig not go towards me? There is a spoon of medicine, I say, I says, and it's a silver spoon that will work. 
Spoon, what do you did get born holding ever so painful for mommy dag but grasps so hard it was in the little screaming red fist. Later you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get all the way to Mexico and then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. This spoon was the same you gave your twins when you used it as when you used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls and you ate up their heart. It's like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mole, you where you will where will you dig next? I ask. You and your little silver spoon made from the silver spine of your children and wrapped it to half daily it parted. There said Jesus Madonna a little bit. What am I become? Don't ask me that. Be right back. Uh, yeah, I got a Facebook message. Not nothing to worry about. Which I am probably gonna be too lazy to edit out. Steam went Texas into low pressure. If in the throes of my evil, I send children into the pipes to clean them, then it seems likely there is another entrance I can use to escape these nauseous mouth runs of engines. I will ignore the burning in my nostrils from the fumes of the godless compound axe that fuels these machines, and I will become the saboteur. I will destroy the pressure system, enabling me to enter the pipes without fear. I'm not going up there, you have to answer the show. Have to go. I guess it technically so here I have to go. Okay. All about me, the thunder of machinery, the blast of boiling steam. I cannot pass without the fear of scolding. I am a lobster, crack my circulation stagnant, or vital motion seem pended. The steam will boil my hole unless I can find a way to shut it off. Okay, let me just take a little look around. I highly doubt I can go through here, though. Hmm. It seems that the pressure system is indeed the Achilles seal of this facility, something I clearly did not realize in my first clumsy attempts at sabotage. If I reroute the steam, I can wreak havoc. Can I take it out with me? I would take my guess and say I have to bring it over there. I'll just go look for more of those. Which I'm probably gonna use ages to find. All the machineries no answering. But that's okay, I guess. And so far it feels like I have been talking in a British accent in this game just because of the fact that I feel like we have to do it in this game. Because it's kind of a British accent game if that makes any sense. Sense. Not sense. Okay. Two of those. I highly doubt that will be enough though. Oh, shy. Oh, it actually is. Fault of steam regulator. I would wager if I disable it, the damage caused by the rushing steam pressure could be catastrophic. I certainly enough to force a temporary stalling of this entire engine. That should cause the steam pressure to drop. Man, does the clever old goat. I can feel this horror, this grief, this betrayal ball into fury. 
I will not stand, I will not be under Troden. If this machine is my heirloom, I am the overman. Steam. I sense the machine snort itself about me, its unholy inhuman mind coil and slick and sends its dark tendrils uh, through its conductors to repair the damage. I will return to the streets, I will fetch help and I shall lead the people upon the factory, burn it to the ground and seal this evil place on the ground forever. How? Wh why do you type in? You have to bloody run! save them. Of course, all the awful we cannot sell for our system is to donate to the workhouse, making them perhaps the best fated and fortunes in the whole of London. Yes, uh, this is going to take a little long time, I guess. Yes. Oh, there, there we go. What happens now? That's a question that I want an answer to. Killing people, fucking hell. My FPS is dropping a lot here. Oh god, no, what have I done? Holy crap, why is this guy naked? Having naked people here doesn't seem really logical, but whatever. Let's just roll with it. many years until the M1911 is made. Okay, that's what I said. No one misses the poor, rounds up some orphans, and the world will thank you for it. 
this appear a whore and a gentleman applauds you. Call a beggar and a lady walks safely again. I hate them. I hate them more than any of the others. The pr this privilege, this pretensions, their so-called leaders, these pillars of society, this rich and fanciful, they wear the filth of the inside, but they are no less dirty. I have plans for them all. We will feed them and then we will feed for them. What does he mean about that? I know you don't know. to go through here. Redeem yourselves. Redemption is at hand. Enter the cleansing and set your souls free. For you are born into filth and will die as pigs. Only through my redemption can you ascend to the skies and claim the heavens as your kingdom. I stand and look at myself in the mirror, penis in hand, okay, and my reflection grins at me and his mouth is full of skullful mustards. Wine fool, he sneers, are you really so very different? Do you genuinely believe your works of evil are any greater than the rest of them? You are simply a weak man, a product of his age, the same as any other. This is empire, cretin, this is the killing ideology, the natural result in this social Darwinism. If you are evil, then the world is evil. You just let the blood run in the streets rather than hiding it in a poorhouse. You hold the blade and slide it home yourself. You do not pay a man to do this for you where you cannot see it. If you are evil, at least yours is on an honest evil and that alone makes you ubermens. And thus I wash my hands and take to bed. I don't know why I'm taking my time reading notes while I technically should be running or trying to help people. Oh, I remember this part. It looks like they have some cars ready. Which may be a good thing. Do you hear me, Mandus? This is what you planned. How? Why? For horses only once your carriages must be on turn of their entrance. Too many of these damnations. These beasts loose on the street to all to have come from the engine rooms. As I emerge, I can count on three of the damnable Potomian's lifts, which suggests the machine has been planning this for some time. Smuggling routes to the surface all about this neighborhood. If my bearings are correct, beyond the alley, I should stand directly over the ignition rooms, and I will make it that I find the Potomian. Pneumatic death, it will carry me back to the machine's heart. What the shit? Beast! Creature! Where are my children? Where are my children? It's quiet now. Fucking machine for pigs. I will 
cool. I will say that gateway now run, running thing here was kind of cool. Hold on in. Okay. Taking an elevator down again. Farming the world, I saw the destruction of this so-called progress. I saw starvation and disease. I saw rubbish floating in the harbor. We are ruinous, all of us, and we make the world unclean. And for that, we must die. No, that did not say, but still. It's super realistic. I'm not saying that, but this seems a the monsters in this game seem more realistic than the the monsters in the Nisha the Dark Descent. Okay, counter attack. I have returned. Angle of Angel of Vengeance, a saboteur once more. I'll find a way to stop this vast enterprise of slaughter. Uh, enough destruction upon the heart before confuse the machine enough to spring it locks and secret doorways. I would must cause a great shock, stab its eyes, poke hot wire into its ears, hammer to its teeth and push glass into every orifice. Then it'll gasp and in and in that gasp will scuttle into its throat and stab its heart from inside. Okay, well whatever you say. I do like the design of the doors in this game, that, that's, that's what I'm gonna like. Okay, right there. Fucking hell, this is loud, it's fucking hell. You guys probably have a hard time listening to what I'm saying. No naked flames to unshield and electricity. The electric machine must be lethal to the torch. Power touch now to confirm the machine and flood the system. This system will not suge no boiling spark and liquid death. Seems quite odd to me. Danger compound eggs. No naked planes, no unshield electricity. I sense an opportunity. My first strike in pleading this cogs with a large enough object should jam, jam the flow of coolant, causing a pressure build up that would spit, split the pipes and rupture the tanks. Am I supposed to go down now? Probably am. Or probably not when I think about it. No, uh, I doubt I'll have to go down here. Okay, well let's go back then. It may have some uh, something else I have to do here. 
At times I wish it was kind of a niche dark descent scary, because that's what I actually thought I was going to get when I bought this game. I thought it was going to be quite the same. This is Combat X. This door is not locked. Electrifying it. It's not electrifying. I know what you fear. I will rain excrement into your very soul. I will destroy you. You are too low, Commanders. My great works are almost begun. I will get followed by that monster, won't I? Oh, doesn't seem like it then. October 27th, 1899. Um, a race not one not for here to a sort slope and innards are shifted and sorted and entered the world through more channels and means the one could possibly conceive. The product passes by this section of the engine and is driven through the blade, splitting it into two sections ready for the butcher's block. And in the interim, it is kept in our freezer base under the house, and the heat produced naturally by the refrigeration progress feeds into the pipes and crannies of these rooms. And it's very and it's the very reason, my dear friend, that we can sit here in shirts and laced coats, but no jackets, on a freezing winter's night without a fire in the crate. Great, or and discuss our great enterprise. The warmth of our bell in our bellies and toes may be attribution directed to those bellies and toes we are even now passing through steam fire and blade beneath our feet. Why are they doing so much bad to the children? I really don't understand. What have the children done? Is this blood? Shit. December 2nd, 1899. Walking away from these temples, the small pile of stones under the roady dome ruins, the skulls of innocents under the loose clod, headless rib cages are in cold stone behind the altars. 3,000 miles apart, I tra trace back my life to this instance. Rain channels eroded in ancient stone. The toxins are already in this damp, this falling water. I hack and wretched and vomit into the sink and grasp the bowl with both hands and stare. There in the blood hole, as clear as day, a toy spine, clockwork and intricate, like a child's spine, but clockwork. How could that be? If, uh, how could a child's spine be made into like clockwork? I have washed it carefully and placed it on the mantelpiece. By the egg I laid myself under the garden where the children's skulls are buried. I call it my Mexico. Okay. Uh, 
guts. Start screaming. It is critical injured now, I am sure of that. It jeers no more. I feel it shudder around me, a wounded animal pressed flat to the ground. I feel it's afraid of me, and I hate it all the more, as I hate myself for unleashing it. My head pounds with blood. My teeth vibrate, I retch and burn with fever, I am an angel of death, descending to smother the firstborn for the death of the two that I am after. I am here again, at the foot of those stairs, towards the red light of the nursery, sunset in the window like a bleeding sky, the horizon a slit throat, the seeping dark to drain the guilt from us. I am the jaguar-faced man. I am the feathered serpent. This priesthood is mine. I can meet him, your great engineer. How marvelous. I must say, Mr. Manders, my excitement is almost unseemly. Yes, I can see that. Step this way, Professor. I will be right behind you. Manders. Manders, where the devil are you? I can't see a damn thing. Mander. We are the pig, Professor. We are all the pig. What is in front there? Holy shit. I'm in stillness now. Blue water runs in my veins, now I am clean. I carry the knife of this factory, the bowl of this mill. I am come to collect you from your fields and your furnaces. I will gather you into the white clouds. I will gather you to me, and I will take you home. Alright, whatever you say, laddie. blood. It's these people. is waiting. The man eats the pig and the pig is eaten by the machine and the man is eaten by the machine. This is as it is ever will be. Okay, wait a second, I have to go check something really quick out. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm not certain how long of the game it is. I think this will be a longer episode. More like a first episode. Like, I walk tunnels with no human has trod before, I'm sure of that. It's just me and him now. From frost forms on my coat sleeves. Deathly still and freezing air tells me I am close. Why did you take? 
take my children. Aye, Mandus. Of all the blood that we have spilled together, the first drops fell from your hands alone. Then I am damned for a filicide. And everything is lost. Shit, that pig. I'm not quite certain where to go. Maybe this way. Manage process cabin or go on distribution tanks. Oh, okay. I don't think you even need to go in there. I may be wrong with that. No, I'm not good. I don't I really doubt I have to go into there. I'm quiet, but I'm trying to process everything that happens. It, it, it's kind of hard concentrating. Talking and concentrating at the same time is kind of impossible for me. Or not, not, not in Call, not in first-person games like Call of Duty and Battlefield, but in these kinds of games, it is. Okay, man, this is sending amongst the spirits. The Aztecs believed they could avert the apocalypse through sacrifice. History tells us they failed. Their tragedy was simply that they could not spill enough blood in time. Okay. Okay, moving forward. Electrogravity suppression, South Tower. Only to save you. Only to spare you. I would have given my soul to spare you this world and its loan. Um, I, feel, I feel bad for this man. But then again, he did oh, plan all this. My children. What have I done? What have I become? Poor man. I will put it right, my darlings. All of my wrongs will be righted. All of my sins washed clean. Oh man. You will do it. Memories, they surface like bloated bodies, rising to the scum of the fames. I looked at them, covered in the blood of the dead mother. Little piglets crawling in the swaddling and my heart at once is filled with a great love 
and a consuming hate I could never have imagined. At that point, did my soul split, creating him? Was this the egg of my soul? At the moment the great clock began to tick, it's the only path to redemption to join us together again, to make myself whole, to close to the close to great circle and take that madman into my heart once more and forgive him and myself as well. This is I kind of a side game. Darlings, and I am sorry. I am sorry for all I have done. I simply loved you all too much for this world. Oh God. He did actually do it. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. In search of for instructions for advice for helping my goals, but in return the system mocks me. Simpleton, it says, you must find your own, own answers now. Can I go through here? Never mind. Mandus, put aside your misguided crusade and let me save them. You may hate me, Mandus, but I have seen the future, your 20th century, and let me tell you this, a far greater slaughter awaits you there. I seek to save the world by blood now, before millions fall beneath history, pushed under by blade, bullet, and gas. He's talking about Second World War. First and second. Fuck. Um. Holy shit! He's fast, he's fast, he's fucking fast. He's fast, he's faster than me. He is fast. He's as fast as I could think he would ever be. Oh shit. Oh crap, this is actually kind of scary at the moment. at all. Is this the heart I have to take out to actually overcome this? Why can't I do anything? The heart has a working on me, I think. That's kind of odd. I thought I was going to be able to just kill it. Um, I think I'd have to just kill it, I'm not certain. But in that case, how? Do I do this? Do I grab anything? Do I... Don't do that, that's for sure. Will I... I'm, I'm, I'm really wondering what the fuck I'm supposed to do. And it's just really... Ugh, I don't like this. Um, levels that I can see there. Maybe it's something more to this that I don't see. Oh, <laughs> stupid RG. Stupid fucking RG. You can't really, can't really see that, but... Stupid. 
So far, that, that, uh, was that the heart? Yeah, that, that must have been heart. I, I can't think, figure it would be anything else. Madness, listen to your heart. You know you are with me. You created me to save the world. I am your friend. You fucking betrayed me. That's at least what I understand of this. Um, am I supposed to walk away? Mandus, please. I am no more evil than you. We saw the same thing. To save humanity, ridding them of their painful, stupid, pointless lives. Mandus, stop. Think about what you are doing. For your children, Mandus. Do not speak of my children, monster. I did not kill your children, Mandus. You sacrificed them on the temple steps, knowing what the coming century would do to them. Your sons will drown, lungs full of mud and shrapnel on the banks of the swamp. You wanted to save them from the horror to come. That is the vision we shared. Everything we have built to avert this coming nightmare. You and I are one. We are the same. Our souls are entangled. We deserve to make them free. This is creepy as fuck. Seeing your own children like that. I guess this is getting to the end. I have stood knee deep in mud and bone and filled my lungs with mustard gas. I have seen two brothers fall. I have lain with holy wars and copulated with the autumnal fallout. I have dug trenches for the refugees. I have murdered dissidents where the ground never thaws and starved the masses into pain. A child's shadow burnt into the brickwork. A house of skulls in the jungle. The innocent, the innocent Mandus trod and bled and gassed and starved and beaten and murdered and enslaved. This is your coming century. They will eat the Mandus. They will make pigs of you all and they will bury their scalps into your ribs and they will eat your Fuck you. Please, Mandus Snow. For your children. I'm doing this for my children.
Okay, I'm gonna grab more health, aren't they? stone we had hewn his body from. When the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard, in the silent distance, the man-pig singing to one another. Then, as the last lights were gone, and we lay together in the deep, they drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eyes, and we lay together embraced forever. I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city turning over in its sleep. A church bell ringing out. And in that moment, the new century was born. Very good, at least. I like that, actually. I like the game. Uh, I wish it was scarce like in the first Amnesia game. More, that actually scare you. But of course, this is was very good. Oh, it's a Norwegian name in there. Sindri Grunmor. Kinda cool, I guess. Yeah, I like this though. I, I think I would give this game... A 8 out of 10, probably. It was pretty cool, the story. I would really enjoy the story, but... I wish it could be more scary, like Initial Dark Descent. Of course, the Dark Descent campaign is not as really scary, but it's a lot more scary than this one. I will admit. In the beginning, I thought I thought the atmosphere was atmosphere was really scary, but then after I learned, I saw how the game was. Kind of after playing a little, I saw that. I really had no threat because the pigs weren't as powerful or they it was easy to come around them. So yeah, I kinda wish it was a little harder but I guess I understand why. But this is more of a story game. Sure, I did. Okay. 
costume looks uh, and a great unknown masses of piggy fodder that did screams for us. The part that leans upon the work is but serves the poor good east in the period of the great sharpening after law class struggle cannot be sensed, the smells vaulted from the wait waiting grave. Leon Trotsky. The end. Yeah, uh, I guess I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. Series. And, uh, yeah. It's not, I don't think it's much more else to say about it. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed. Press like if you did. And I'll see you guys in whatever I make the next. Peace out. <laughs>